my friends. Welcome back to my channel. And um, we are working on Rosamond today. This is um, part four. Is this four already? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to be a long one. But all the videos are kind of short, so that's my excuse. Um, we're going to work on her um, wings today. And... I'm going to be doing the wings in gelatos. So um, I pulled them out and um, these are the colors that we're going to be using. So we're gonna use coconut, coconut. We're going to be using iced pear, um, aquamarine, tanzanite, and gold champagne. Now, if you don't have gelatos, um, you could use uh, the King Art gel sticks. They are not as pigmented, but if you're on white paper, that may not matter. Um, you could also use colored pencil. Um, this is just the way that I chose to do them because I kind of wanted them to be really super... Um, blended and soft and then we're going to use white Posca um, for the, um, the little sparkly dots that go around there. But I'm going to start before I do anything else with a white um, pencil, a white Prisma, because I want to put these, have these little um, ovals I want them to be nice and bright, and it's just easier to do before I put the gelatos on. I'm a little, t a little um, tight in here with the. Uh, camera so forgive me if I have to I don't know move things around so <laughs> um, unfortunately kind of like what's happened you know I've talked to you about this before when I blow it up so that it goes edge to edge I lose a little bit of the outer edges here so We'll just fill them in as, I will fill them in as best I can. You should have no problem seeing yours. Um, okay, and then there's one more like right there. And then there's one right here. I um, I think I need to do a little bit more filling in of the lines with, with my pencil. I'm just going to use like a regular old mechanical pencil here and just darken these a little bit. I did the outside edge already, but I forgot to do anything on the inside here. So if you have printed the light version, um, just, you know, just use, and you can't see the lines very well, just go ahead and use um, the darker version or the colored version as your um, guide. We're going to be going right over the top of all of these lines, but I, I, I still want these lines to show. So I could use a colored pencil instead of the um, graphite pencil, which hopefully, hopefully it's not a mistake. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't, um, you know, smear. I just thought of that. 
Well, if it smears, <sighs> if it smears, it smears. Maybe it'll be a happy accident. I don't know. Let's see. Going really lightly, so hopefully it won't be an issue. Okay, and here, yeah, I think this is, this is it. I might put another line right there just because I feel like it. Okay, am I all the way in screen? Not really, I'm not really all the way in here. Let me push this up just a tad. Yeah, I think we'll do it that way and then I'll lift. I think you're all in now. Okay, um, I'm going to start with um, white or the coconut um, because I'm on this um, tan paper. I want the base before I start putting color down to be a little bit brighter. And so I tried this and it seemed to work pretty well. So that's that's what I'm going to do. So, hmm, I'm going to try and do this so that I'm in, uh, so that I'm not um, completely blocking everything with my hand. Let's go here. Let's try it like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to be completely blocking with my hand no matter what I do here. So, Hopefully, that won't bug you too much. My, um, my weight is a little bit crumbly today. Now, if you're doing this on white paper, you shouldn't have to do this. All right. So, let's do... some iced pear. This is an iridescent color. Iced pear. It doesn't say what it is. I think I got, I think that one came in the Dolce gift set too. That, um, that particular set has several colors from lots of different sets. So you'll get to try out the different, um, this one is from the Iridescence. Um, but it might be in the Dolce gift set too as well. And also, if you have, oh, this is Tanzanite. Um, if you have gelatos um, that are completely and totally um, just dry and crumbling, I mean, you're going to get a little bit of crumbling um, no matter what. But if you're not getting that creaminess coming off of your, um, of your gelato crayons, then um, they're old. And if you just bought them, send them back. They're no good. Um, they should be creamy and um, be able to, you know, blend and be be smoothed on with a brush or your finger or whatever you choose to use. But um, don't don't think that if they're icky and crumbly that they're that that's the way they are because they're not supposed to be like that. 
All right, I think I will start. How do I want to start? I don't think it's going to really matter. I think um, we're just going to put some color down. So I think I'll start with this aquamarine. Do some iced pear. some tanzanite. It's this purple one. Sometimes I do like to just put my finger in there and let that um, do some of the blending for me. One of my one of my little brushes is finally kind of separated. The brush part is perfect. It just kind of separated from the um, from the wood stick. And I I haven't tried like E6000 yet. I've only kind of tried super glue, which was kind of worthless. But sometimes if you just take some tissue or something just to make that a little bit thicker, sometimes that does a nice job of helping. I don't think that's going to do it this time. I just need something temporary. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, white. A little bit more white. There is no right or wrong with th with this one. I think just, you know, throwing down some color until you get it the way you're happy with it is all you need to do. All right, let's do some of this um, gold. What is this called again? Gold champagne. I really liked this um, gold champagne. And here at the base of the wing, I don't know why, but I just really did like it, so... That was like quite simple and easy. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do on this until we do the pasta. It's one of the things I just love about the gelatos. It gives a really nice look and it's so fast. All right, so now I am just going to take my pen 
and give her some little fairy dust. Let's see. So, um, I'm kind of wondering if I should just kind of double time through this. This doesn't take any special techniques. But it does take a little bit of time, so... Um, actually, I mean, this is literally all I'm doing is dotting. Um, we're going to go, you know, kind of in some of the, I don't know if they'd be called veins of the, of the wing. I guess they could be. So I think what I'll do is I will continue doing this. You guys can carry on without me. And then when this is all done, I'll come back and we'll start working on some of this other stuff here. So we can get as much done as possible. And then you have the, um, you'll have the colored version in your download if you want to refer to that for placement or you can just put it wherever you feel like or, or whatever. So um, I will do this and then I will be right back. Okay, so in looking um, on this, after I got her done, I feel like I want some more of the aquamarine. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. You can see what I did with the Posca pen. And it doesn't matter if you go over, if you wind up adding more of this after you have your, um, your Posca down, it's fine. This can go right over the top of it. No problem whatsoever. There you go. There's the wings. So kind of like, uh, you know, iridescent and, and, uh, and just subtle. And I, I like that. So there we go. All right, let's do the ribbon next. Um, let's see, how am I going to do this so that I'm in? No, you know what? I think I'm going to have to bear with me. I think I'm just going to push this up. Make sure that we're in focus. Okay, I think that'll be better. Um, so for her ribbon, we're using um, Peacock Green, which is PC907. And... Else did I use on that ribbon? I suspect I probably used some black. I used some black. So pull some of that out as well. And then I think that rather than um, trying to leave all of the white bits, uh, the the white line that goes down the ribbon, I think I will add that in with. Um, Pasca afterwards. So, actually, I think I want my white pencil as well. So we can do a little highlighting and all that good stuff. So, white and peacock green.
do a little bit of white right here. Let's take our white. Let's do a little bit on this edge here. A little bit on the top edge. And yeah. Okay, so. If you'd rather not um, use a Posca pen after, um, you know, at the end, you can put your white marks in first and then go right over the top of them. You could do that as well. I'd rather not fight <laughs> with those tiny little lines. Do a little bit of white. The white underneath seems to work pretty well to give a to give a nice highlight. Just a little bit. I've got some black, and I also think I'm going to pull out a um, uh, Prismacolor blender. So let's do a little bit of black, just a touch underneath, right there, right there. These are where the ribbon is twisting and folding. Okay. Let's 
do a little blending. One of the nice things I find about why I like Prismas so much is that when you're doing these little tiny details, um, one layer and a, and a blender takes care of the color. Um, I guess you still get this really nice, rich lay down of color. And you don't have to keep putting tons of layers on top of each other, which is really nice when you're working in a really small area. Okay, before I um, do the white, oh, what did I do there? Before I do the white um, lines, I want to come in and put a few of these little grow grain ribbon lines. I should have done these with in black. It's subtle. It's just a subtle little. That's fine. All right. Is that dark enough? I want a little bit more dark. So I want a little more dark here. under here. Uh, how about in here? Uh, I guess that's okay. And then this. Our ribbon and uh, do I want to add some shadow from the ribbon a little bit maybe let's take some espresso because that's what we used to do the hair and let's just just do a little um, I think I said I have the uh, light coming from two directions here, so I don't think it... I can just pick. Now, if I want to do some of that on the, on the wing, how do I want to do that? Let's... Uh, this is the same color I used for the ribbon. Just gonna glaze some of this. Actually, probably right there is the only spot that I really need it, huh? A little more of this. It's just a little bit. It's nothing too major. I think that's good enough. Okay, so let's do um, let's do the 
cra her um, crown with the um, ivy. I'm going to reset the camera a little bit so that I can get in a little bit closer, get it a little further away from me, and um, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I can already see an area here where it's actually um, uh, hair and not um, not leaf. <laughs> and so I need my pencil again. All right. So this is actually the top of the leaf. Well, I don't know what's going on here. That's the leaf. And this is some leaf as well. So I'm going to take my espresso and I'm going to fill all this in. And maybe we'll use just the blender just to I think that'll be fine. It's a little bit dark, but maybe we'll just I think once I get the other colors on there it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to take my white and I'm going to draw in the veins of the leaves. And some of these, I know some of these got really light. Um, and then some of these quite, in fact, almost all of them have a little bit of a white edge on their a little bit of white edge on their edge you know they're <laughs> they're white on the end so I'm gonna put some white on there I know this gets confusing, so in order to not be confused, um, I'm going to take some white. This right here, this is the flower stem, and this right here is flower stem. Okay, and then I'm going to take some henna. It's just this tiniest little bit of pinky red. So that'll help us not be confused a little bit. There's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of leaves underneath flowers, underneath. So just... Do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is white.
see this area right here is going to be skin. I'm wondering if it will be easier to see if we do these white flowers first. No, I really think I want to do them um, afterwards. Um, I am, however, seeing that this right here, this is ribbon. So we want to use that, that uh, what color is that again? <laughs> peacock green? Peacock green. We want to put some of that right in here. So it's the other side of the um, bow, yeah, the other side of the bow. Okay, am I ready? Um, some of these leaves are not ivies. Maybe we'll just concentrate on doing the ivies first. That's Kind of the way I kept myself on task, so we'll do that first. Okay, so let's use, we're going to use Prussian green and olive green. Um, they're both really close. I find that they're very, very similar, but this is the way that I'm going to kind of switch between leaves. I might do one in um, in Prussian and one in olive. So now that the white is already down, I should be able to go right over the top of it. And I'm going a little bit heavier in the center of the leaf and then kind of working my way to a little bit lighter of a touch as I come out into the white. And I think I want to use some dark green as well. Sharpening. If you don't want to use my drawing, you know, my sketch as your reference, my uh, colored version as your reference, you can um, just do a Google search for variegated ivy and you'll find all kinds of pictures. Right, we'll 
could help you. Okay, we're definitely going to have to come back in afterwards and add some shading um, underneath the um, ivies. All right, this is olive green. Maybe that's what I used before. I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Prussian olive. I think I used some pale sage in this too. So we'll, we'll throw some of that in here as well. Uh, let's try some pale sage right now. What does that do? Yeah. Why not? This is the dark green. There's something about this right here that's just really bugging me right now. It looks too light. It looks kind of grainy. I'm not happy. So I'm going to take my espresso right now because it's just bugging me. It's not right. I mean, just that little bit made a difference. Even thinking black. I know I'm getting out of um, out of order. Out of, I'm jumping around again. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of black under there as well. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm gonna pick a dark color. Let's do some. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do some dark green in here. And maybe some black. I never really know what I'm going to do until I start doing it, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it doesn't get all planned out like I probably should plan it all out. But Okay, let's use Prussian green. For this one. And I think I'm going to use some pale sage. Kind of on the outer edge where I had that white. Okay. Take olive green and all of this area in here. It's just like uh, it's not it's not defined like you know exactly what it is. It's just a dark green color. I think I'll do that here too. And I'll leave that for now. Okay, I'm going to just stick with the olive green.
some dark green in. I need to take my glasses off. <laughs> I'm struggling to look under them, which is just stupid. I think I'm going to add some more white to this one. And I'm not great. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm not unhappy. Let's try some black. I would have maybe used kelp green, but I think black will work just as well. I like that. I'm going to put some of that over on this one too. This is my Spiro Farben Black. So it's kind of a warm brownish black. Um, Polychromos Black is similar to, my, to the Spiro Farben Black. Some black in here. All right. And while I have it in my hand, because it makes me feel better when I look and see the shadow, I'm going to go ahead and use this black under here. Before I keep going this way, there's a little one that's over here. I'm going to get some of this dog color. This is uh, Prussian. And a little, what is this? <laughs> it's pale sage. Black. Okay. Let's do olive green. right over the top of everything. I'm going to use some pale sage on the outer edge. And some dark green. Inside. I'm not crazy about that. I think I'm going to take some um, 
lime peel and blend with the slime peel. And I like that. Yep, I like it. I'm going to actually put some in some of these other leaves too. I might have used it on the original and not written it down. Because I like it. Okay. There we go. Let's... Uh... Did I say this was olive green? This is olive green. I'm going to do some dark green. Just curious if I use chartreuse. We're going to be using a lot of that in these back green leaves, so I don't, I don't want to go crazy with that color because I, I want the ivy leaves to definitely look different in, um, in their color than the, than the tree leaves. So I don't want to use too much of that. I'll just blend. I think more white. Go with dark green. Honestly, I have no idea what that <laughs> what that is. So we're gonna turn it into the center vein of a leaf. You probably yeah, I think that's what it was. It was the center vein of a leaf. So we're just gonna go dark green. And maybe Prussian green over on this side. I don't know why. Okay, and maybe a little black. Russian green. Let's do a little pale sage. And then some dark green. some black.
Okay, olive green. All right, let's use a little lime peel. And maybe a little bit more Prussian, Prussian green. And I think a little black. I'm really, I'm really liking that little bit of dark. Carrying on, let's do this dark green. I don't want to figure out what I did here. <laughs> um, because this is like stem right here. This I've got my espresso in my hand. So that's the stem for that leaf. And then this is a leaf. Do I want to add some veins on that? Nah. Just go dark. Okay. That little bit right there is supposed to be skin. So, this is my chestnut. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there to help remind me that that is supposed to be skin. Actually, I have my um, luminance right here, so I'm just going to fill that in. Okay. So, did I ever get white on this one? I don't see it, so I'm going to add some more. If I did do it, I'm going to put more on. And oh, olive green. Let's 
do some dark green. I feel like I want some more lines. Like maybe I didn't do a very good job of doing those. All right, line peel. in love with that one. Let's do a little black. She's going to need some more shading under that. And if I don't do it right now, I will forget. If I can do it with that Sorry, I set it down and I don't know what I did with it. Hello, where are you? Right there. If I can do it with the luminance, um, this is the 40% warm earth or dark flesh, <laughs> whichever you happen to, it's number 745. I think that's enough. I could probably go darker if I if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, this time I'm going to take this pale sage and come in here first, a little bit in. And then come in with olive green. some dark green. I'm sorry if the scratchiness bothers you. All right, let's just go straight to dark green on this one. Then maybe pale sage. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Okay, let's do some lime peel. That's better. I like all the different colors all mixed together. They look really nice. Okay, so we've got one more ivy leaf here. 
Let's use Prussian green for this one. failed to put white on the edge of this one and I want white on the edge of this one so I'm going to put it right now that's fine back to oops, back to Prussian blend okay so I need to figure out what color I did those leaves those are the leaves that go with this little flower bit here. Um, I know I used, maybe I used dark green and the chartreuse. Let's try that. So I'll put some chartreuse down. I don't think it was dark green. What color is that? Um, I need to refer to my um, sketch chart real quick. This is one of the reasons that I love having this because I can really see in big swatches what colors I might want. I don't know if this is... Uh, let's see. Let's try apple green. In here. I think that'll work. We'll do a little bit of black. Too much, so I'm gonna blend that out. Alright, then we want some. Let's just do olive green. I had like random green underneath here, whatever, pick one. This is um, Prussian, this is fine. It's just the green that's showing through from underneath. And I will tell you that I think Hello, where's my espresso? I think this is um, hair. I'm just going to do it like hair. Yep, that looks, that looks better. That looks more like what it's supposed to look like. And I'm going to add some 
Prussian green on here. That was a little too bright. All right, let's do our uh, flowers. We need some white, we need some gray. Let's do 50% gray, try that. So we've got some gray in here. Gray right here. This is all the shadow from the from the kind of cupping of the petals. to have these grays when you're doing white flowers or else the flowers just completely look um, flat. All right, I'm going to use some lime peel for the little, I guess it's a stamen, the little thingy that comes up from the center of that flower. And I'm going to use a teeny tiny little bit of henna right here. And then I'm going to use the white. I'm going to do all the white and then I'm going to come back in with the gray again. And try and um, add a little bit more definition for the petals. Don't use your fingers if you live in a climate where you get um, marks from your dust. Let's do a little bit of this under here. Okay, so. This 50% cool gray right here. Bring that up in. I'm not crazy about about what this is doing right now. So give me a second to figure out what I need to do to fix it. It might just mean it might just need just some more shadow be a problem. Let's use our black. And I'm just really going gently. I'm not pressing hard because I don't want I don't want that shadow to be super duper dark. Um, you could use like a 70% or 90% cool gray if you would rather. Um, I'm looking, sorry, I was looking for my blender. Um, but I find that, um, at least with these, um, the Spiro Farben pencils, if I just go lightly and then blend, it does just what I want it to. Bit more black. 
black in here. Those darks, those darks are what really make things look like they're receding into the into the page. So you want your things that are furthest away from you to be the darkest. And that will help add to that three-dimensional look. I'm not happy with this particular flower right here. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I guess that's a little bit better. It's not exactly right though. I'm going to throw some um, of this chartreuse just right there in the center, just a little bit. All right, that's not bad. That's okay. Um... This right here on the other side of her um, ribbon is actually more hair. So I'm gonna grab my espresso and I'm gonna grab my beige and just fix fix this. It's just a little bit more hair. Okay, is that all the all the um, headpiece, the headdress? Let's put a little let's darken this a little bit. Actually, let's get the black and start. Probably be darker. How how is it that I um, just used pencils and now I can't find them? Uh, I just don't get it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. You know what? I'm gonna let's do this. Let's take. Uh, I think I put the other ones away, so I'm gonna just use espresso and do a little bit more shading. I'm not going to lie to you, I still sometimes have trouble with figuring out how I want the shadows, especially when you've got light coming from multiple sources on a, on a page. And that does happen, you know, light doesn't always come from one side or the other. And um, I still struggle with shadows sometimes, so... Um, I will never swear that what I'm doing is exactly right. I'm doing my best for what I think is right. And um, if you see me doing something and you feel like, no, that's not where that goes, then don't do it by all means. Because I, I still don't always know.
think that's okay. Um, I might, you know, do a little bit more blending. Some of these look like they need a little bit more either color or just a good blend. Gotta love a good blending pencil. My favorite tool. <laughs> the tool I couldn't do without. That's just my, my technique. Not everybody likes to use blending pencils. Some people just like to use pencils. Okay, but I am I am um, I'm pretty happy with her. So um, that all looks good. All we have left to do now is the back leaves and the background, and I think I can get that done in one more video. So there's the. Um, wing again. I'm not sure if the lighting is showing it properly or not because, you know, it's another cloudy day out and I am using artificial light and all that stuff. So there we go. I'm going to call this, um, this video finished and um, we will carry on on the next one. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. You're awesome. Love to you all. Happy coloring. Bye.